Hello everyone, I am Gyan and you are learning computer science with Python for class 11th. In this video, we are going to learn about big data. See, there are multiple websites. There are multiple famous websites are present on the internet and all are uploading huge amount of data. Okay, means they had huge amount of traffic with them. There are total 104,000 Skype calls there are total 293,000 status updates on Facebook. On WhatsApp, there are total 44.4 million messages sent per 60 seconds per minute. There are 547,000 tweets per minute on Twitter. There are 2.78 million video views per minute on YouTube. There are 2.4 million query search per minute on Google. There are 204 million email sent per minute. So you can see how much data we are using. On Netflix, 70,017 hours of data watched per minute. So as you can see that how much data humans are using, how much data they are using to upload and download the content from the internet. Okay, data is being produced with a very high rate. So today there are over billion internet users and majority of the world's web traffic is coming from smartphones because most of the people don't have laptop or computer but everyone has smartphones. So most of the traffic on the internet are coming from the smartphones. They are using tons of data per second. This figure shows that what is the current pace? What is the current pace of data being transferred on the internet? So you can see here how much data is being created per minute, per day, per week or per month. That many data resides on the internet and the data being uploaded on the internet is also increasing day by day. This is the current pace of data being used, but this pace is increasing day by day. So this much data we have on the internet per minute. Now you can think how much data you have since last five years on the internet. So this results in the generation of data sets of enormous volume. And this complexity of data on the internet is called big data. Okay, because the data getting generated on the internet is on enormous volume. Okay, the data getting generated on YouTube is in enormous volume. The posts being uploaded on the Instagram are in enormous volume. So these data, which world is using to upload on the YouTube, which world is using to upload on the Instagram, which world is using to send email, such huge amount of data, such enormous volume of data is called big data. Big data cannot be processed and analyzed using traditional data processing tools. The reason is that first the big data has enormous amount of volume and the second reason is that the big data is unstructured okay like our posts on facebook are unstructured instant messages and chats photographs tweets videos opinion polls etc are unstructured data so this data this big data are in enormous amount of volume and at the same time these big data are unstructured. So traditional data processing tools cannot be used with big data. So big data not only represents voluminous data, okay, means the big data not only represents only high volume data, it also involves various challenges like integration of the data, storage of the data, analysis of the data, searching the data, processing the data, because data is not in a small amount. The big data has enormous volume. That's why searching, processing, transfer, querying and visualization of such data is much complicated and much challenging compared to normal data. Big data sometimes hold rich information and knowledge, which is of high business value. Okay. And therefore, there is a keen effort in developing software and methods to process and analyze big data. So they are saying that big data sometimes hold rich information and knowledge. That means you can find a pattern 
which is being searched on Google. And that pattern of query search on Google may have a business value. You can find what people are searching on YouTube, what people are uploading on YouTube. And finding such pattern has its business value. So analyzing the big data itself has its business value. Therefore, people are working in the field of processing and analyzing of big data. So hopefully you got what is the big data. There are a few characteristics of big data. First thing is, of course, volume. The volume is the most prominent characteristic of big data. It is enormous in size. If a particular data set is of such large size that it is difficult to process it with traditional DBMS tool. So with the traditional database management system, it's difficult to process such enormous amount of data. Then you have velocity. Velocity of big data represents the rate at which the data under consideration are being generated and stored. So you can see here at what rate the big data is being uploaded on various websites and at what rate the big data is being downloaded on various websites. So velocity of uh, big data is exponentially higher rate of generation than traditional data sets. Then variety. We have huge variety in big data. Facebook uses post, Twitter uses tweets, YouTube uses video, Instagram uses images. So all these applications, all these websites uses different kind of data and different kind of data in huge amount. So we have wide variety of data present in the big data. We have text, we have images, we have videos, we have web pages, etc. What is truth about the big data? The truth is big data can sometimes inconsistent, biased, noisy, or there can be abnormality in the data or issues with the data collection methods. Veracity refers to the trustworthiness of data because processing such incorrect data can give wrong results or mislead the interpretations. Okay, so big data actually produced by normal human being, you cannot always believe on such data. So you need a tool to verify the trustworthiness of the data. So veracity refers to the trustworthiness of the data because processing such incorrect data can give wrong results or mislead the interpretations. At last, the final characteristic of big data is value. Big data is not only just a big pile of data, but also possesses to have hidden patterns and useful knowledge which can be of high business value. As I told you, you can find a pattern of Facebook post on a certain geographical area on a certain day. And you can use that pattern to show your ads. Because if there is a pattern on tweets, that means people are talking about such concept such area and you can show your ads belonging to that area so finding the pattern in big data have high business value but there is a cost of investment of resource in processing big data because to find the pattern you need to process the big data okay so we should make a preliminary inquiry to see the potential of big data in terms of value discovery or else our efforts should be when so these were the few characteristics of big data. Now let's come in to data analytics. Data analytics is the process of examining data set in order to draw conclusion about information they contain with the aid of a specialized system and software. So when you analyze data, that is called the data analysis. So this is the process of examining data sets. Data analytics is the process of examining data set. Why you examine data set? To draw conclusion about the information they contain. A data set may contain information. To get that information, you analyze data set using data analytics tool with the aid of a specialized system software. This is called the data analytics. To analyze the data, to get the information out of it. Data analytics technologies and techniques are becoming popular day by day. 
They are used in commercial industries to enable organizations to make more informed business decisions. Okay, so you analyze data to have better business decision. Means Amazon analyzes its data that what is being said in which month, in which geographical location. Amazon analyzes all its sellings so that Amazon can take a better business decision. So the Amazon is an example of analyzing data for the business. In the field of science and technology, data analytics can be useful for researchers to verify or disprove scientific methods, scientific models, theories, and hypotheses. So such data analytics can be useful in the scientific researches so that you can verify or disprove existing scientific models, theories, and hypotheses. Suppose that you are creating a compression algorithm, then you analyze how your compression algorithm works, how much compression ratio it has, and then you analyze your result with some other result. And here you use the data analytics tool so that you can analyze two results and try to find that if your proposed method of compression is better than others or not. See, there is one library, Pandas. This is a library of programming language Python and Pandas can be used to make data analysis much simpler. So if you want to make your career in data analytics field, you should go with Pandas. So that's all for this video. Hopefully you got what the big data is. See you in the next video.